at the section meet in 7-2A at Northdale Middle School. We don't even just not have graphics in the pool. I won't have a King Agamemnon reference or even a Cal Ripken Jr. reference. I wish I did, but we got a lot of Centennial Cougars qualified for state and a lot of good finishers for the Blaine Bengals. You enjoy those uh, that swimming roll by in the 200 free, the 200 IM. Duluth would end up taking this team meet, followed by Coon Rapids and Anoka in the top three. Centennial, our top team, finishing in fourth overall. Blaine in seventh. 53 right here. Hunter Belting took first place. He's had a tremendous season. He's qualifying for state. He's one of four qualifiers for the Cougars for the state meet, including diver Riley McNamara. He finished third place in order to qualify. Aiden Gillen in the 100 free and Liam Goulade, a second place finished in the 500 free. To uh, spoil some of that would also qualify for state. How about Timothy Rotter, one of the top individual finishers for the Blaine Bengals in the diving. He finished in fourth with a total score of 332.05. So we move to the second half of the meet. And again, looking for those qualifiers in the 100 fly. Jace Dayton would take one of the top finishes for the Bengals in this event as he would finish in seventh for the Blaine Bengals. Onto the 100 fly as well on a second day. That's actually when Dayton was doing his swimming. Caleb Murathy also finishing uh, with a top spot, not in this event, but with a ninth place finish in the 200 free earlier in the highlight. The boys 100 free for Centennial. That's where Aiden Gillen did his work and came in second place to finish and qualify for the state meet. Blaine again, that 100 free. Well, that was a good finish there for the Blaine Bengals and Murathy yet again, Mackie as well. Here's the 500 where you got Liam Goulade with a second place finish and a time quick enough to get him into the state meet as well in the longest event there. The 200 free relay, well, this has been a good one for the Cougars all year long, but uh, could not get the team qualifying there. The 100 yard breaststroke coming in section 7-2A, and again, Duluth and Anoka, Forest Lake dominating some of this. Blaine finished fourth in the 400 free, one of their top individual finishes with Centennial, also a good finish on their day in the 400 free as well. Blaine, that fourth place finish, one of their best finishes for a relay team on the day. All in all, four qualifiers for state for the Centennial Cougars as uh, they would come in fourth place as a team, you look at some of those top finishers and their times circle in on that 53. Aiden Gillen was a good one there, but uh, it was also Hunter Belting with that first place finish, also setting some records as he has done throughout the year. And as mentioned, Centennial fourth place finish overall, Blaine with a seventh place finish overall.